the NBA Rookie of the Year is? Ben Simmons. I'd like to thank my family to start off with, family, friends. You know, I wouldn't be here without them. And my teammates, of course, and my great coach. And the, the city of Philadelphia for really embracing me and my family. So thank you. And the 2018 Kia NBA Most Improved Player is? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Victor Oladipo. Oladipo. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing this evening? Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my God in heaven for giving me the ability to play this game. Um, I want to thank all my family and friends here and at home. I love y'all. Special shout out to my father, Chris, my mother, Joan, my three sisters, Victoria, Kendra, and Christine. I always say you guys are my before, my now, my after. You guys are my everything. So I thank you guys for that. Uh, shout out to the Pacers organizations for believing in me, all the Indiana Pacers. Um, it's only the beginning for us. We're just getting started. Uh, I encourage you guys here and everybody at home um, to continue to, to lend a helping hand, uh, to continue to change lives. We're in a tough time in our lives right now and, and in the world, and I encourage you guys to do that. And if we continue to do that, we'll save a lot of lives and, and change lives. And that's what it's all about, right? So I encourage you guys to do that. One love, stay feathery too. And the 2018 Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year award goes to Rudy Gobert, Utah Jazz. First of all, it's, it's really an honor for me to be here tonight. Uh, having all these great people around me, great players. If I would have thought 15 years ago that I would be here today, I probably wouldn't believe it. Uh, I want to thank a lot of people I want to thank. I want to start with my mom. Uh, she's not here tonight, but uh, she's back in France. She doesn't speak any English, so hopefully people are going to put some good subtitles for me. <laughs> And uh, I want to thank Queen uh, for believing in me since he got here. Uh, all the jazz organization, the owners, the staff, the city for embracing me and make me feel like home. And uh, I'm very excited for the future and uh, proud to be uh, representing the jazz. Thank you. The sixth man of the NBA season. Oh! Lou Williams!
It's an honor to receive this award tonight. Uh, shout out to, to the other two finals, EG, former teammate of mine, guy in one last year. Uh, shout out to Fleet out there in Toronto. Uh, I want to thank the Clippers organization for giving me an opportunity to be myself, allow me to go out on the floor, do my thing. Uh, shout out to my family and my friends, my homeboys, uh, late nights, early mornings, everybody rebounding for me, being there for me. So dream chasers in the building. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. The 2018 NBA Coach of the Year is... Dwayne Casey for the Toronto Raptors. First of all, I'd just like to say um, thank you to all the writers and also to Brad and Quinn, who are two outstanding coaches. Uh, to the rest of the coaches in the NBA, you have a lot of great coaches in the league. Uh, also, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, who is the head coach of our family, and uh, the, the number one loyal assistant that I have. I have two beautiful children, Zachary and Justine who are at home in Toronto, finishing up school. Uh, all the players in Toronto th in the past four or five years, De uh, DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, Jonas Valanciunas, all the core guys that built the, the program to where it is today, uh, finishing with the top, the 59 wins this year, franchise record. Uh, those guys, four-time All-Stars, Olympians, I'm so proud of them, of what they've accomplished. All the coaches that I've worked with, Joe B. Hall at Kentucky, Eddie Sutton at Kentucky, Clem Haskins at Western Kentucky, George Carl, who brought me into the uh, NBA back in the early 90s, uh, Paul Westfall, Nate McMillan, who I work with, and also uh, Rick Carlisle, who we won a championship with in Dallas, and also Pete Newell, uh, who really taught me a lot in my years over in Japan in exile, so to speak, and uh, also, too, with Tim Gergerich, who by far is one of the best developers in the league. Uh, also, Rex Glamians here was one of my all-time assistants in two places. And I'm going to say this, um, you know, when you get fired, which I did recently, I don't know if you knew that or not, after winning Coach of the Year, uh, you know, you always doubt yourself a little bit. You think, okay, can I do this? Do I want to do this again? And then I interviewed with Tom Gore, Gores, the owner of the Detroit Pistons who we, he and I connected, and he's, and he's given me the opportunity that I'm very appreciative of for someone to believe in you. And that's all you want as a player and also as a coach, an owner who believes in you and trusts you with his franchise. And I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to working with Arn and also Ed Stefanski. Uh, and again, thank you so much and so many other uh, you know, great coaches in the league. But thank you and have a great summer. It is our honor to present the 2018 Twyman Stokes Teammate of the Year Award to Jamal Crawford. First off, thank God. I want to thank my family. Uh, thank the NBA for this award, but more importantly, thank my peers because I've always said you're as good as your peers think you are. You guys are the ones that voted for me. And this award goes with any award I've ever won. This isn't something you're trying to win. You're just trying to do the right thing, have your teammates back. And every team that I've ever had, I've tried to let them know I've been there. I'll be there for them through good and bad, and I'll be there on and off the court. So thank you guys. I have so much respect for everybody in here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It is our honor to present this Lifetime Achievement Award to the big old Oscar Robertson.
I want to thank the NBA, Commissioner Silver, TNT, and the sponsor Kia. I also want to thank my wife and family who are here with me tonight. I'm honored to receive the NBA's Lifetime Achievement Award because over the years, there's so many positive things and opportunities that have happened to me in my lifetime. Much of who I am today was shaped by basketball. My story is much more than just basketball, and I want to emphasize a few points. As a young child, I played pickup games with my brothers in a dirt lot in Indianapolis, Indiana, which was called the Dust Bowl. But it wasn't very, it wasn't very easy to be chosen to play, yet to earn the right to play, by beating older kids and adults who were much bigger and who were much better. As a 21-year-old college student, I was selected to represent the U.S. at the 1960 Olympics in Rome. It was my first time traveling internationally, and I welcomed the opportunity to meet people from different backgrounds and beliefs. As a pro in 1964, I was also part of a select team organized by the U.S. State Department to tour Europe. When I look back at my career in basketball, what I enjoyed most was playing with great teammates against stiff competition, such as my Rawls teammate and lifelong friend who's here tonight, Wayne Embry. On the court, I believe that it was important to get all your teammates in the game. Well, why, you ask? Because she wanted to avoid phone calls like this. Hey, oh, I didn't get any shots tonight. At least when I played with the Bucks, I could respond. Well, Kareem got your shot tonight. So I'll get you in practice. <laughs> but sometimes in life, it is important to be persistent or, or as I've been called, stubborn. Stubborn about what you believe in in order to help others, even at great personal sacrifice. As president of the NBA Players Association, I had the opportunity to push for free agency and to improve working conditions. And I, along with several others, followed what we believed in and what was the right thing to do. So that little kid who just wanted to play in the Dust Bowl back in Indianapolis ended up testifying before a U.S. Senate subcommittee on behalf of all the players. Our successful legal settlement in 1976 became known as the Oscar Robertson Rule, which led to free agency in basketball and other sports. <laughs> Winning that battle is every bit as rewarding to me as anything I ever achieved on the basketball court. And I am most proud, most proud of that assist. I thank you again for choosing me to be this year's recipient of the NBA's Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you. It's only fitting that on his birthday, we present the Sager Strong Award to the man with a big smile and an even bigger heart. The Thank you. Good evening. I would like to thank God for allowing me to be here with you tonight. I'm honored and touched to have chosen as a recipient of the 2018 Sega Strong Award from the NBA and TNT. I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to the NBA and TNT and special, especially to Mrs. Stacy Seger, who is the president of the Seger Foundation, for this recognition, which go beyond athletic achievement. <laughs> to how we treat order, as Grant Seger say, time is simply how you live your life. I remember being interviewed by Craig at the very beginning of my NBA career. And I'm so glad to be able to wear this unique jacket which celebrates his memory and which will be giving me a great opening to explain to curious people the source of my fashion and time. As I reflect on my life's journey, the surprising even to me are my initial plan to help the people of my country 
the Democratic Republic of Congo, by becoming a doctor, took a long and wonderful detour to my career with the MBA, which ultimately made it possible for me to build the Biamba Marie Mutombo Hospital in Kinshasa, which may bear in my mother's name. We can all make a change in the world. I learned this from my parents who strongly believe in good education, not only for their own children, but for the children of the extended family and the community. I feel that I have come full circle from the value installed in me from my family, from Georgetown education and almost two decades of the MBA career. I've been able to realize my dream to build a hospital, which is now 11 years old. And my next project is to build a modern high school in Congo, where girls and boys will get strong education. <laughs> With emphasizing science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and the art, so they can become productive global citizens while they work with the local community. I would like to thank my precious children, my daughter Carrie, my two boys, JJ and Ryan, who are here tonight, and all my beautiful wife, Rose Mutombo. who keeps our family strong as I do the work that God has called us to do. I cannot forget to thank the Commissioner MBA, Adam Silver, our Deputy Commissioner, Mark Tatum, Kathy Barron, Tar Jacobson, and the MBA Cares family for putting up with me all this year. I can only hope to live up to the reputation of Craig Sagan, who embodies strength, respect, of course, great style. This is a wonderful birthday presence. Thank you very much. God bless you guys. And the Kia NBA Most Valuable Player goes to James Harden, the Houston Rockets. Wow. Uh, all glory to God, man. All glory to God. Um, wow. Huge shout out to the NBA. NBA and all the legends that paved the way for me to be able to play this game like I do um, and, and, and like I love. Um, huge shout out to the Rockets, man. Uh, the whole city of H-Town, uh, Tillman, Yan Yoni, uh, <laughs> uh, Tad, Daryl, Rafael. Um, you know, all the coaching staff, the training staff, Jason Biles, Keith Jones, uh, Swerve. Um, I know I'm missing somebody it's off the top, but um, this is everybody that helped, man, from the equipment guys to the, the, the ball boys, um, you know, everybody that, that helps um, to get me to where I want to go. Um, shout out to my family, my sister, my brother, uh, me, my nephews, uh, right, um, and moms. Uh, I'm not gonna get here. I'm not gonna get emotional. I'm not gonna get. I'm, I'm not doing all that. 
Uh, but she's my backbone. Uh, good times, bad times. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I, we only get one life, and, and I'm happy she's my mom. Like, I wouldn't have it no other way, for real. Um, yeah. Six man of the year to the MVP. Shout out to all the youngest, man. I got a dream. It's a vision out there. Go take it. Go chase that dream. Right. I'll see y'all next year. <laughs> Swag.